Hello all and welcome to the channel Tech and More. So this is a new video for the series Salesforce Lightning Flows. In the introductory video, we have talked about the flows, when to use flows and the type of the flows. In this video, we are going to talk about the flow builder. Basically, flow builder is a place where we create flows. So we are going to talk about flow builder, its components and how to use that flow builders to create flows. So without further ado, let's quickly jump into the video. So this is our Salesforce org and when you click on quick find box, you need to type flow and under the process automation, you, you need to click on flows. After this, you can see these two buttons. So for creating a new flow, you need to click on new flow button. So as you can see on my screen, after clicking on the new flow button, we can see uh, the screen which says we need to select any type of flow. We can select any type of uh, flow according to our requirements to create uh, that flow. For this video, we are creating a screen flow. After clicking on create button, we can see uh, we got this thing, the start and end buttons. So for any functionality of the flow to be done, it should be covered inside these two buttons like here inside uh, the start and end buttons and uh, this is the flow builder screen there are basically three things in the flow builder first one is elements second one is connectors and third one is resources so all the functionalities uh, revolve around these three things so let's talk about elements first so when you click on this uh, thing, you get a plus sign and you can choose uh, any element. You can add any element from this. So basically element are divided into three categories. First is interaction. Second one is logic and third one is data. So interaction means uh, what type of interaction do you want for your flow? Like it can be a screen, it can be any action or it can be a subflow like calling a flow from another flow. And there are different type of logics as well. Like you want to assign anything. There, there can be any decision. There can be a loop, etc. And there can, uh, and the third type is data, in which we can create or update records. We can get records, delete or roll back records accordingly. So these are the type of elements which we can add uh, to a flow. So for this purpose, let's uh, click screen uh, at this time. So we have clicked screen and we get a, a window like this so for uh, screen you can um, add the screen properties in screen property you need to define uh, the type of the screen so let me just give it a name that is get record uh, i have named it as get record so i need to provide api name as well so uh, it get automatically populated get underscore record and we can uh, specify any description as well. So I'll say get records um, from object. Okay. And we can configure header and footer as well. If I want to show header or not, like uh, when I uncheck this checkbox, the header got removed and we can uh, show any help text as well we need to type any help text and it will uh, show help text on the screen for this purpose i don't want any header so i have unchecked that checkbox and then we can configure the footer as well and do you want to uh, if you want to sh uh, show the footer you can check this checkbox if you don't want to show the footer you can uncheck as well so uh, for this purpose i want to show the footer but i don't want to have this uh, let's say i don't have uh, i don't want to have pause button so i i will hide the pause button and then i don't want previous button so i have uh, done hide previous as well and then for next and finish button i want a custom label so i want it to be save so you can see the save is updated so this is done from our end 
uh, and on the left hand side you can see there are different type of components you can see uh, field is also mentioned so you can uh, pick and drop any of the component from this side to the screen so uh, there are different type of inputs like address currency date time date data table checkbox checkbox groups as well and uh, pick lists all the different type of uh, things you can add and there is also uh, two display elements display text and section so uh, let us just pick uh, one type of let's say i have added this name component uh, it will show first name and last name uh, and let me just put a text as well so i have uh, given a text component so uh, yeah so you can see in the name component it it has given us a first name and a last name and we can provide uh, the uh, we can enter any values like if you want to get any value from the uh, record we can provide that as well and if we want to uh, give any middle name or salutation uh, these things we can add uh, in this component right now uh, i have to give api name is a must like this is a must thing so i will give um, api name as name component so this is my api name and in this text i will uh, pass some value let's say i want to uh, get name as input and then i want to have a city as well so you can mark this field as required as well uh, according to your uh, convenience uh, according to your requirement so you can also put a default value and uh, let's say if i'll put jaipur as my default value then it will show us in this a uh, text stream so right now we don't want any default value so this is how it is created we can set its visibility visibility also like if it is set to always it will always show this uh, field if we want to show it conditionally then we can use uh, these conditions as well and same for the yeah and validate input and provide help so these are the functionalities which are there for this screen we will talk about them later in the upcoming videos so after this we can click on done so this is how our element is created so basically you can uh, define now the, the elements basically you can define them that these are individually individual building blocks of the flow these perform logical actions such as assignments decisions or loops like i have showed you you can create anything you can create loops you can make decisions you can do anything and uh, there are also data elements that will query the database or commit record changes as you can see this data elements so these are the elements of the flow builder next up is connectors so what are connectors so connectors determine which element leads to which for example uh, let's say we have created two elements get records and then uh, uh, get get uh, remaining values let's say we have two screens so uh, the connecting uh, thing the connecting part between them is connector or let's say we we, we have made any decision uh, like if the name is uh, taken more then it will uh, get the data uh, there will be another screen and if the name is not equals to taken more then it will save the data so like this so uh, if uh, we have added this decision the the elements which are connecting those parts it will be a connector so basically in our simple flow these these things are also uh, connectors and the third and the last thing on the flow builder is resources uh, 
so when you click on the left hand side you can see this button uh, it's toggle toolbox and you can see in the manager you can see this button new resource so you can create resources uh, while you are working on flows if uh, if you want to get any id if you want to get any data so you can create any type of resource for now uh, you you can see in resources we have uh, the components cre uh, screen components and city, city and name components and we have created these in our screen component and another one is get record this is a screen which we have created so you can uh, create a new resource as well like it can be of type variable constant formula and any any other thing like uh, you can you have pick list pick list choice set as well record choice set as well so you can create any type of uh, resource Let's say i i am creating a variable type of resource so i am giving a uh, api name as a record id and get record id and data type so you can uh, like you can click on any type of data um, the, uh, which you are creating for now i we, we are creating a text type of uh, variable and we you, you can specify any default value as well and you can see like there is uh, there are two checkbox uh, one is available for input available for output so that means do you want your uh, variable or resource to be available for input that means you you have uh, uh, you have set it on any uh, any uh, record creation form and you want uh, the value to be uh, inputted from the, the their side so it it will be available for input and available for output means there there is a value in the variable you want to uh, give it to like uh, you want to use that in the flow like this it is available for output so you can set anything so for now i am setting it it as available for input so now i'll click on done so uh, like this our resource is getting created so basically this is the whole uh, thing of the flow builder these are uh, these are the three things which create a flow so uh, i suggest you all to get through all these things and uh, once you like uh, get an idea how to create a resource how to create an element how to use connectors you will be easily able to uh, create any flow any difficult to difficult flows so uh, that will be really helpful for the upcoming videos as well so yeah that's all from my side and if you have any questions please do comment on the video and we will get back to you uh, and we will try to answer all your queries uh, in 24 hours or so okay thank you bye bye